You know, I, I really thought that I would never come close to ever feeling the same kind of feeling that I get when I beat El Generico by doing something else. But Border Wars, I got that feeling. And I'm talking about the kind of orgasmic feeling that somebody really shouldn't have in a wrestling ring. Now, you may think that I mean winning the Ring of Honor title, but as great as that was, it pales in comparison to the feeling I had when this finally became what it should have been all along. This man is Steve Carino. Make no mistake about it, he is a legend. And instead of being treated as such, by this company's management, he was pushed aside, he was vilified, starved, starved. We could keep going for hours. This man is Jimmy Jacobs. He created moments in the Ring of Honor that people will remember forever. And that one, just one example, is bathing in the blood of a hanging Jay Briscoe. Mm. I did so much for six years in this company. When I came back, you know what they told me? You know what they told me? You know what the words were? Right now, it's sort of like a tryout to you. <laughs> six Remember? years. Six years. This, I'm sorry, this company doesn't know who you are. It's like a tryout to you. Six years. Wasn't enough of a tryout, was it? You gotta change your ways, Steve. We don't have room for a 38-year-old has-been. Oh yeah. 38? Like, yeah. You're young. 38, you're in your you're in your goddamn prime. Yeah, you know, because they can talk about somebody's age all they want, but the person running this company right now is older and more out of touch than my god, anybody I've had to deal with in wrestling. Ever. I'm at a bit of a loss for word when I try to describe just how to touch and close minded this person is. And of course I mean you, Jim Cornette. And now I don't have any cute go-home line for this. I don't have any punchline. I don't have any good way to end. So I'm just going to end it on this. The three people that you are watching right now are three people that were thrown out like trash because we didn't fit in the mold of what you wanted in your professional wrestling company. Well, you know what? Those decisions are coming back to haunt you, Jim. And I know I've been talking about this for six months now. To the point where you have decided to call me wrestling's worst nightmare. But man, you have no idea where you started. And this, this, and let's, let me make this clear by the way. I, this is to me Jim Cornette's Ring of Honor World title. If it was up to me, this isn't what I'd have. But that's another story for another time. Me having this is only the beginning. Like it or not, like it or not, we live. <laughs> that, there was, that was the great way to end up. Yeah, it's genius. You should get some shirts like that. <laughs>